All right, so big debate. It's just revolver versus semi-auto. Yeah. I'm going to come out of the gate with capacity is king. I'm going to have more rounds than you with a revolver. Yeah, you came out strong on that one. So that's true. <laughs> capacity is nice, but reliability is king. <laughs> so with these guys, I mean, they always work. You, you don't have a reciprocating slide. You have a cylinder. You've got six rounds, yes, but you're going to get those six rounds off, especially if you're shooting from retention. No cloth can get stuck within a slide when you're trying to shoot in close quarters. This thing right here. Is going to shoot. You're going to get that your six That is true, rounds but off. if one of your rounds, if you have an ammunition failure, you're down a round, I still have plenty more. I just pull the trigger again. I know, but then you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I have still, I still have more rounds available though to go through. You just have what's in your cylinder. But a malfunction here, <laughs> first, a malfunction here is huge. That is you have true. to rack the slide. It may, it may be a c catastrophic. Malfunction where you have to pull yeah. the magazine out, more parts, true. less reliable. This guy is old faithful. That is true. I am going to have a better trigger job yes. on a striker fire, yes. semi auto firearm mm -hmm. than the revolver. Very true. Modularity, though, the revolver was the pioneer for modularity. With one screw, you can go from a target grip to an everyday carry grip, which is really nice. Where in the semi auto field, that's something that's fairly new, where you know, you, you, they say modularity, but sometimes you have to change your, your whole frame altogether. You may have to go to a different gun for whatever suits you for that day, which is really nice for the revolver. That is a good point, but for modularity, you have one thing you're changing out. That's all you can change from revolver to revolver. You can go from this nice fancy grip to a concealed carry grip, something more performance uh, rated, but within all of these platforms, I can go from optics to irons that to nice. full size frame, right. compact frame, long slide, short slide. Uh, there's so many options and within just the Taurus platform of the GX4, the G3 family, um, you can pick and choose what you like for what you're going to shoot best and what's most comfortable for you right. to carry. I think another point that the revolvers have over a semi-auto is how they can contour to the body. There's no right angles to the gun. They, they curve just like the human body. We're round. We've only got one right angle, which is our shoulder. So it's nice that these can contour to our body a little bit nicer than, say, a semi-auto where they do have that right angle from, from frame to slide. But I think with what they've done with the semi-autos, with the new technology and making them more carry friendly is they're made more comfortable uh, with rounded edges, um, sights that are integrated into the slide. Uh, you'll see some that have the textured grip for shooting, but it's inlaid so that it's not going to snag or, or make it uncomfortable to carry. Right. The nice thing about the revolver, though, <laughs> is... It's traditional. There's it is. A, lot less, it is. a lot less options, so you can say, hey, yeah. I want this size, this caliber, I'm good to go. Where that with a semi auto, you're like, oh. You could get overwhelmed in the options. Oh, yeah, but there's a lot of options. Who doesn't love options? That's true. That's true. <laughs> but again, it always comes back to personal preference. Right. We could argue all of these topics all day long, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's what I'm going to be comfortable with right. carrying and what you're going to be comfortable with. Absolutely. Absolutely. So at the end of the day, what do you have to do? You have to get out and train. You got to train.